Oh, life will not always give us what we deserve, but what we demand. everyone welcome back to my channel and our topic for today is you must wake up you must wake up you cannot just sit by and expect life to be fair just and good to you no you must know what you want and go for it with a positive and winning attitude and anyone find any precious stones like diamonds rubies emeralds easily no you will have to dig and what happens if you do not want to dig you will have to settle for any ordinary stone that you can find around you this life doesn't guarantee that we will not meet with difficulties trials and challenges along the way however we can be sure of one thing god's continued presence with us every time and along the way because he said he will neither leave us nor forsake us. The book of John chapter 16 verse 33 says, These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulations, but be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. We are indeed grateful to God for that promise. But that doesn't mean we should fall asleep. God in creating the universe had to call forth everything he wanted in it, right? Okay. God created the heaven and the earth. And he saw that the earth was without form and void. And darkness was also upon the face of the deep. At that point in time, God wasn't satisfied yet. He wasn't pleased yet. And what did he do? He moved into action. He started by creating, shaping, structuring, and evaluating. Until he got exactly what he wanted and everything he wanted. And then what did he do? He rested. He walked Erased it. Same applies to our individual lives. You cannot just get anything by just sleeping, wishing, and dreaming. Our attitude to anything and everything that we want determines what we get from it. You cannot just say, Oh, from the days of John the Baptist, I know the kingdom of God suffered violence and the violence actually takes it by force so i take it by force eh you are still sleeping but when you do this from the days of john the baptist yes the kingdom of god suffered violence and the violence takes it by force and i take it by force you have woken up can you see the difference between the two? You must stop sleeping. Wake up. Get into action. Take the bull by the horn. And don't stop until you get to where you ought to be or where you want to be. Yes, I failed 10 times. Okay. And so? Yes. I fell 20 times. Okay. And so, it's still not an excuse. It's still not an excuse. It is a good thing to wish for something and also dream about something. But remember this. The extent to which you will fulfill that dream or wish depends on the quantum of efforts that you are willing to put in it. The brightness of any fire is determined by the amount of fuel applied to it. So if you have been sleeping, 
it's time to wake up because you must wake up. And we have come to the end of today's segment on Okwe Inspires. If you find this helpful in any way, please leave a comment below and click the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and don't forget to click the notification bell as well. Thank you all for your love and support. And I will see you again in my next one. And until then, you must wake up. Thank you.